You're listening to the Johnson 223, tube-top AM only radio, and uh, it's coming through a Yezu 450D. There you go. Audio clarity and feedback. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and as promised, I want to do a video, a quick video, on this old Johnson Messenger 223. From what I understand, the numbers stand for this is like a Messenger 2 with 23 channels. Okay? Now when I got this old girl, uh, it did it came on, it keyed up through a dead key, but it wouldn't receive or transmit. And after going through I don't know how good you can see down there. The tubes I finally figured out what was wrong with the thing. There's a uh, the audio tube, both receiving transmit was broke right in half. So I had ordered one of those. I think it's like seven dollars and something. And what was it? Uh, hang on just a second. There's the tube. Let's see if I can figure out. I got the darn model number on it. 12AT7 or something like that. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, found one from a guy. And uh, he sent me a video or pictures of it when he was put it on a tube tester and everything come out really good. Of course, today I want to do a video here. Nothing's... There's a little bit of something, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, we got Mexico coming in. But I'll show you something with this thing. The reason I really wanted this radio. Okay, we got the ham there, but just a second. Turn this down. I'm using uh, this old mic non-amplified uh, Turner Plus 2 basically all it is but the dead key is about 2 watts so and really don't have much of a swing to it of course this isn't a peak read meter either but anyway it does have a little forward modulation that's not too bad Hello. And we'll do that. Hello radio. You see that this this meter don't read peak too good. But alright. Hang on just a second and I'll show you why. I, but as you can see here, hello audio. We are uh, transmitting now. So I will let you hear the the audio quality of a Johnson Messenger 223. Okay, let's do an audio test on this thing, the best that I can give you through the phone. It's coming through the Yezu, so the attenuator's on, so it cuts it down. Yezu isn't hooked up uh, to an antenna at all. But if any of you guys know anything about tube type radios, the audio quality is just absolutely unbelievable. So here we go, without further ado. Hello, one, two. Radio one two three. Hello audio. Check check one two one two. This is why I like the Johnson Messenger two twenty three two type. Even them old white face and black face Johnsons, just you just can't beat the audio out of them. Okay, there we go. So there we go. And I did have to clean this thing. I mean. It was nasty, nasty over the years. And I think before it's all said and done, I'm gonna get some black paint and touch this up. I got new replacement knobs, the original knobs that came with this radio. They're in there now. And uh, she works. All 23 channels, it works. It receives on all 23 when somebody's on the dang radio. But uh, the only thing that's really, truly missing off of this radio or defeat 
That's the only thing that's really off of here is the feet. But I do have a Carl built uh, C80 amplifier coming that I'm gonna hook up with this radio. So that ought to be interesting to see how much, uh, how much power we get out of that C80 with um, the old Messenger 223. And I always got my backup trusty rusty right here. I love this radio. I love these old radios. They built like a tank. It's a quality put in them. Some character put in them. They're not fancy. This sure ain't fancy. I mean, what? On and off switch is right here. And that is the squelps knob. That's how you turn the old girl on and off. And when the tubes heat up, you get your volume. And running the matching Johnson version of the Turner Plus 2 microphone. Everybody says, oh, you're going to put the amplified one on. No, you take away the clarity of the audio from this radio. So I did also, one other thing, if I can get this dang book out. I got this Sounds Photo Facts book, and it covers the messenger. So we're going to go through that old gal and get her like she's supposed to be. I would love to find a VFO for this thing. So anybody got any suggestions on what type of VFO that'll work with this Johnson to get at least 40 channels out of it, I would sure appreciate it. Be it a Siltronics or a PAL or whatever. I know somebody knows something about a VFO that'll match up with this radio. So uh, drop me a comment if you do know, okay? All right, that's going to wrap it up. And we got some more videos coming up. We got a new base antenna for uh, the CBs. Um, and that's coming up in the video real soon. There you go. The Johnson Messenger 223 hooked up with the Johnson desk mic made by Turner, I guarantee you. Fantastic audio. Replaced one tube in this radio, cleaned it up real good, and she's working just fine. Very happy with it. I think I gave $50 to this booger. So, I'm happy. All right, till next time, catch you on the air, 73.